Let's train with the fast serve vigorous forehand in high tours of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wilder Live Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay Twisty 5 and to turn on the bell if you like this video. So, all those matches uh, were played before the 13th of January 2021 update. You know, the famous update that uh, changed the way stats are uh, displayed now for all characters and all builds in the game. Beforehand, we had a huge agility for a lot of uh, characters, especially Kaito's, exceeding 100 agility most of the time, and especially in high tours. And now we all have different agilities and a slightly stronger hand stats, but the gameplay is exactly the same. That's why I still show you those matches because. Uh, even if uh, the stats have changed, the gameplay remains identical. So I started the matches versus Nishikori, who wasn't using a lot of emojis in this match. I have noticed that generally he used the emojis a lot by the end of the match, whether he's leading or being led. So Nishikori was using the silver and wire in this match and then was using the holy book wire you know the severe wire and what I think about this uh, regular string this is very good at the beginning of the match especially versus the uh, faster vigorous forehand players but by the end of the match well Kaito will have uh, very often a hard time with this string because of the lack of stamina indeed this string doesn't have any stamina shear so it has a forehand counter and that's very useful especially in the beginning of the match when Kaito still have a lot of stamina but by the end that's very tricky as you can see have a look at the stamina bar at the top of the screen you will see that Nishikori is having it in the last tier, that means that he uh, only has like one third of stamina left before the serve. Now he's having almost uh, only 25% uh, we'll say. And knowing that he has almost no more stamina, he took risk by hitting very strong returns. He knew that we found a good winner well, he was kind of a doom with his Kaito having no more stamina. Well, let's play now versus the top player, Tony, using the low serve aggressive baseliner style with Victoria using here again silver and wire. It gives this precision, of course. Whenever I hit with my forehand. And of course, Tony hits very well, very accurate and strong shots. And with the Sibran wire, here again, you are going to see that uh, Tony is going to lead without much difficulty. So the uh, big difference between Victoria and Kaito, of course, is uh, the agility. Whether it's uh, with the own or the new stats, she has uh, 10 fewer agility points. This is Kaito. Yeah, was a missile of uh, forehand return there. Yeah, very nice. Really nice winner. But of course, on the backhand. She's a bit more fragile, even if uh, the backhand stat of this Victoria is very high. And it was lucky there. He was trying to swipe very fast, so caught the net. You start to see how this Victoria is uh, going to lose stamina. And with a lower stamina. Accuracy is not so good. 
My accuracy was not on point neither. And for the end of the match, of course, when I see the stamina is uh, drained so much, I don't need to hit very hard anymore. Just have to uh, return correctly. Accurately enough, uh, the shots. Let's play versus uh, overpower Kaito into 8 using the Diwali string. So this string can be uh, very good to counter fast, uh, vigorous forehand players. It has critical tier 2. So if you have two strong hands with Kaito, that's quite useful. It has stamina shield and tier 2. So of course much better than the Siren Wire. So it doesn't have a forehand counter, but it has a long catch and that is very good to try and make some desperate dive returns against the fast uh, vigorous forehand players. Yeah, critical was uh, triggered very often with this Kaito having two very strong hands. Uh, try to uh, outflank the Skyto desperately by hitting shots that I would hope to be uh, on the line. But oh my gosh, yeah, he was trying so hard with that uh, cross court shot there. Instead of just controlling it, he tried to hit a hard one. So this opponent likes to hit very strong shots. That's a general trend. Very rarely he will hit soft control shots. And even with uh, that stamina shield in tier 2, well, the long catch was draining stamina a lot. So he ended up having this kind of uh, stamina bar and that was tricky for him afterwards not to be uh, outflanked let's play versus this uh, top player having a fun name <laughs> he has uh, used short name of uh, four main groups in the game there and he was using Maestro Monty so of course this is almost the default string for Kaizo in uh, to a 7, but this string is quite risky for use against uh, fast serve, vigorous forehand players, of course, because it has no long cash, no forehand counter. The only good thing with uh, that ma Maestro Monty is that it's the cheapest of regular strings. Besides nylon string, of course, but who plays with nylon string now? In Tour 7, very, very few players. Yep, some very nice accelerations now and then. Down the line, backhand. He's capable of hitting those uh, accelerations very well. But for the previous shot, for instance, if he was using the choker cards, he would have caught it. And even this one, actually, I think. Especially with this agility, it was enough. Yeah, it was a nice soft return there. Yeah, that's the problem. You suffer from the big shots of Victoria, and with my instrument, you can't do anything much. You don't have forehand counter, so sometimes you need to hit those superb returns on the line, but otherwise, you are suffering the pressure. And Victoria is keeping the initiative all the time throughout the match. It's not easy at all. With that string, 
Well, let's play now this is uh, Kaito having very good stats in tour 8. He was using the anniversary string, which is the worst string almost for uh, faster, vigorous forehand players. It has long catch and it has forehand counter. Counter punches can dream to have a better string than that. The only good thing for high serve big forehand players is that the anniversary string only has the stamina shield tier 1. And fortunately, because it's, if it was having a stamina shield tier 2, it would be impossible almost for fast serve players to uh, outflank this Kaito. This rabbit running very fast everywhere catching everything with precision and long catch and still keeping stamina at a decent very decent level that was particularly true for this uh, Kaito who was using the antioxidant so he was having more stamina than the Kaito using carbo load and he could use the uh, anniversary string relatively calmly without much pressure of losing stamina too fast and of course thing that uh, fast serve vigorous forehand players need to do by then besides hoping for <laughs> opponent to uh, commit on force errors like on the previous point well is that to uh, hop to drain this Kaito stamina fast enough with long catch if you can force your opponent to uh, activate long catch quite often where you can make him consume stamina very fast and then by the end of the match you still have all your chances because as you know a Kaito having lower stamina is not as dangerous that's it force him to activate long catch like that and his stamina bar is going down and then that's very hard for this Kaito not to be outflanked All right. Well, let's finish the matches. This is a standard stats Kaito. Once again, remind you that those stats were different compared to uh, what you see now for your Kaito opponents, but the gameplay is exactly the same. So, this Kaito was using the Diwali string. It is quite good, as I said, because it has long catch. And that build of Kaito was having antioxidant, so uh, enough stamina to do some long catches during the match without fearing much the stamina consumption. As you can see, the serve was not fast at all, but still, the Kaito was uh, outflanked. But not so easy for him to return. So sometimes, in some matches, you just can't serve very fast. Very simply because the game is a bit sluggish, and then you can't hit very hard, you can't serve very fast. It looks like you know the game is not synchronized correctly so even if you swipe very fast super fast it's never the blue bar is almost never full or at least at 90-95% sometimes it's like that you can't do anything and you can just hope that your opponent is having the same sluggish problem because otherwise the playing field is clearly not even all right 
Let's try to come back. And it was possible thanks to those Unforceros. He was trying to kill the match. And this is a good thing to do, actually. Instead of waiting for my Victoria to commit the error first. But unfortunately, the accuracy was not there for this opponent. Well, you are going to see now the build that I was using for all of those matches. Let me remind you that the stats have changed, but the gameplay is exactly the same. This is before the 13th of January 2021 update. Well, I hope you enjoy watching me play the fast serve, vigorous forehand style in high tours of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wild Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay365. Bye-bye.